Every year, young athletes collapse during games or training sessions. No warning, no symptoms, just sudden cardiac arrest. So let's walk through five dangerous ECG patterns that can indicate risk for sudden cardiac death. Frugata syndrome is a channelopathy, meaning the sodium channels in the heart don't work properly. The end result, under stress like fever or certain medications, is a sudden onset of ventricular fibrillation, a chaotic rhythm where the heart can no longer pump blood effectively. On ECG, the giveaway is a coved ST elevation in V1 to V3, sometimes with a pseudo right bundle branch block pattern. So yeah, spotting that Brugada pattern can be the difference between life and sudden death. Next, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM. HCM is when the heart muscle, especially the septum, thickens abnormally. This creates a stiff, non-compliant left ventricle, which limits cardiac output during exertion, but more dangerously, that hypertrophied muscle becomes an arrhythmogenic substrate. Particularly under adrenergic stimulation, like during a match or sprint, it can trigger ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation. Fourth, long QT syndrome. This is a repolarization disorder. It's often genetic. It causes the QT interval to be prolonged, which creates a vulnerable window. A premature beat during this time can trigger torsades, de pointe, a twisting rhythm that can degenerate into ventricular fibrillation. Triggers include exercise, emotional stress, swimming, and even certain medications. These five ECG patterns, Brugada, HCM, WPW, Long QT, and ARVC, all have different causes. Each can lead to sudden cardiac death. And usually in people who appear completely healthy, that's why ECG screening in athletes is so important. The more patterns you recognize, the more lives you can protect. Because in this field, what you don't catch can kill. Let's make sure you never miss the signs again.